All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios in Pennsylvania, up north. And yes, I drive a four door sedan. It's up to 300,000 miles right now, drives just like it's brand new. Anyway, I just thought somebody had asked me that question last night. You can't all be politics. We did the uh, rapid strike video today. I'm waiting on a couple things before it's released, maybe come out tomorrow. I did, uh, I did a video because I thought it would be fun showing you how I clean uh, this guy, the Legion X5, which by the way, I traded for an AR-15. Uh, uh, it had to been back in 2021 and I've never cleaned it and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't making even my reloads go bang. And uh, well, this picture will tell you a reason why. Look at all the brass that was in the uh, striker assembly. <laughs> so anyway, I did call my good friend uh, X-Ring. And I said, you remember how you borrowed those uh, guns from me at one time and asked me why the hell are dear, your guns so dirty? And I was like, well, I never clean them. Well, anyway, clean them when they need to be cleaned. Well, that one evidently need to be cleaned. And also, um, got a lot of cool things going on behind me. And uh, those videos will come out here pretty soon. Uh, so let's talk about this. I wanted to talk uh, about all the articles you see coming out. Uh, this is in relationship to uh, this, our Second Amendment. And the extreme threat it is uh, uh, out there because of the individuals who are running for office. And uh, everybody is so excited that this guy right here and what he said and all the crazy things. And I'll tell you what, here's one of the things that really frightens me. He's against uh, reciprocation of, you know, carry conceal in different states and, and, and you know, getting the, the, his, uh, the thing he carried in, in war. Okay, uh, first of all, let me ask you a question. I was a battalion NCO, but I sure as shit didn't claim to be a first sergeant. So I know that certain people can take a, uh, a role, okay? Uh, you could be acting as the command sergeant major, but you never achieved the rank of command sergeant major uh, because you didn't go to the academy. But for somebody to continue to say, I you know, was a command sergeant major, I was acting command sergeant major. You guys have been out there. I know some guys right now who are waiting, uh, getting ready to go to the Command Sergeant or the Sergeant Majors Academy. And as a matter of fact, I met a gentleman the other day at the hamburger joint there in Charlotte, North Carolina. It was the 18th Airborne Command Sergeant Major. Now, that will bring chills to you. And, uh, you know, these are not the guys that are going to be sitting around lying or trying to, oh, I don't know, make themselves appear better for a political reason. I'm not even worried about him being a deserter and, you know, letting his guys go over to uh, Iraq and do their deeds and uh, perform their services while he gallivanted on and being a Democrat politician because, you know, John Kerry, that other jackass from New Jersey, they all lie about their bullshit. So anyway, let's talk about this. Jen Psaki, who you know was the uh, press secretary for, uh, what was his name? Oh, yeah, her, him, Biden. Uh, talked about, this is a, an article, and I'm just going to talk briefly about it, how Tim Waltz went from an A NRA rating to the gun lobby's worst nightmare. Well, first of all, I'd like for everybody here to explain to me, how is it that the left thinks that he is now the gun lobbies? And you know what? We are the gun lobby. GOA is the gun lobby. You have GOA goals coming up very soon. Unable to make it. Sorry. Uh, NRA, uh, they're the gun lobby's worst nightmare. So let's talk about it. In 2010, Representative Tim Waltz ran a radio ad for his re-election. <laughs> Growing up hunting taught me a lot of responsibility and respect, lessons I hope to pass on to my kids. I'm proud to stand with the NRA to protect the rights of sportsmen and gun owners, Walt said at the time. Which means that, hey man, he and uh, Kamala fit really in together. I mean, they're both flip-floppers. They have no principles. They have no standing. So basically what this says to me is that this guy, this guy right here, whatever he says now is a matter of convenience. His, he's talking out of his ass, okay? They talk out of one ear and it goes out the other. That's who that person is, just like Kamala. That same year, not only did NRA give Walsh an A rating, but the gun group endorsed him with him over his Republican challenger. Okay, fast forward to 2023, and here's what Waltz, now serving as governor of Minnesota, had to say during his state of the state address. The time of hiding behind the thoughts and prayers is long gone. What we need is action, and we need it now. So here's what's going to happen. We've got gun safety bill on the table, and we're going to get it passed. We're going to sign it. Everybody needs to reach down, grab a set of balls, and do your thing. And you know what? Exercise your Second Amendment right. It's absolute bullshit. 
one month after the speech, Waltz just did that. He signed a bill creating a red flag law, expanding background checks for gun owners in Minnesota. You know what? I could care less. Minnesota's a weird state anyway. I mean, wasn't that the Ventura, Jesse, the body Ventura, that they elected governor? Yeah, there are already plenty of articles online slamming Waltz as the political chameleon. Yes, he is a political chameleon. He is what they call an epic flip-flop. Okay, so I'm reading this. Oh, I've got my little tablet right here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, in the wake of Sandy Hook, elementary school, the shooting, blah, 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 blah. And I hate, you know what? Waltz wasn't sure about his answer was going to be to address gun violence, but he told the media he wasn't willing to do nothing. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. So, Jen Waltz. Or not Jen Waltz, Jen Psaki. You're just a typical left wing liberal Democrat. I'm not saying, I hate when they go the extreme liberals. I, I call it extreme left because I have friends who are liberal. They have liberal views, but sure enough, they want to, when the time comes when the shit hits the fan, they're probably showing up at my house. I told them you either better be a doctor or have an ass load of guns. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So my biggest thing is with this guy, the flip-flopper, uh, who's getting ready to potentially be the vice president under the... How did this happen to our country? It's because what they did was, and I'm just going to say this out loud, man, they hid Biden's severity, civility, his stupidity, and this is how we and where we are today. And I say this, we should section off a piece of California and all the other democratic states and y'all move there and leave us free loving individuals who exercise our rights and you ever want to know the, the states with the most violence are blue anyway with that being said guys this is my dump for this evening I hope you appreciate it that guy right there it's got a lot of Russian stuff on it and it's bad to the bone so with that being said guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe now already done so I was in like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform who actually served with dignity and pride. And you know, before this guy actually got into politics, he probably was a decent dude, but he didn't lie about what he was doing. Y'all let me know about that command sergeant major bullshit. Let me know what your thoughts are or your experiences. I'd, I'd be interested in seeing it. KB32, like the video, give it a thumbs up. We already done that. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24 7 4. Freedom is freedom is not free. Oh, yeah. Check that picture out. That's a bunch of brass. My apologies to Callaway Ballistics, man, because even my own reloads wouldn't go off, and I couldn't figure it out, man. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom. <laughs>